Hi, my name is Nikki Parkin, and today I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of using YouTube videos in educational settings, specifically within the classroom. A lot of times when this conversation of using video comes up, whether it's with parents or teachers who are talking together, they find that there are some very controversial opinions those who oppose it and those who definitely think it should not be used in the classroom. Having this in mind, I've constructed a list of pros and cons that will help us get a better idea of the concerns of those around us for YouTube in the classroom. The pros that include for YouTube that videos are a great way to reach students. I have seen this firsthand. Visual content can enhance lessons and learning, especially for auditory or visual learners. It's also used as a great attention getter to start a unit or to segue to another topic, um, additionally to wrap up a unit even. Another pro that has be, been found is that there's access to many videos that have great educational content and messages. And a lot of times there's access to things that students normally would not be able to see. For example, a student in Idaho could take a tour of the Eiffel Tower and learn about the history of the, the building. Um, YouTube for Schools has been created by Google recently, and within this, schools can now limit access to selected content. For example, blocking comments that are unavailable now for students to see, as well as linking only to other educational videos that are related to the topic that you've been searching. Another pro that has been found for YouTube videos is that they are free. These are educational materials that can be used within classrooms and there is no cost to the teacher or no cost to the school district, which is great when all those small budgets out there are really making people pinch their pennies. The other side includes a list of cons that I have heard numerous parents voice as, as their concerns. First and foremost is the fact that it is a public site and there are inappropriate videos. This has definitely been observed. Um, another problem that has been seen or has been a concern is that there are racy or offensive comments below the videos. Uh, the thing that we have mentioned earlier, though, was that the YouTube for Schools now has kind of taken that out of play. However, there is still the concern there for parents. Because it is a public site, another concern is inaccurate content. Uh, we don't want to be teaching our students the wrong thing here. That is why the teachers should also make sure that they view and, and preview the content before showing to their students. Um, the last con that I have here is that some good videos may be blocked with this new tool that they have created uh, due to mislabeling, possibly preventing students from actually seeing an educational video that could potentially be great. So as we can see, there is a great list of pros and cons to using YouTube in the classroom. Through acknowledging this list of pros and cons and acknowledging those opinions, it's easy to see why YouTube is such a controversial subject. Um, the good thing is that Google is trying to rectify the situation in allowing schools to safely access YouTube for their students and their teachers. And this hopefully is eliminating a lot of the concern, not only for the school districts, but also for the federal regulations of child privacy, as well as eliminating the concerns for parents. Hopefully this will alleviate some of the opposing opinions and the teachers that really want to use these tools will be able to have access within their classroom. I hope that you take this into, into consideration when you are thinking whether or not to include YouTube in your own classroom. And overall, I hope that you can see that those teachers who have felt that they have been beneficial deserve the right to put YouTube videos in their classroom. Thank you for listening.